Welcome to our channel where we delve into the fascinating world of brand strategies. Today we're taking a deep dive into the secret strategy of Burger King in its ongoing battle against the fast food giant McDonald's. We'll explore the game-changing rise of Daniel Schwartz, a man who took the reins and transformed a struggling brand. Get ready as we unravel his innovative strategies, the profound impact of his leadership and the future of the Burger Wars. Brace yourselves as we're about to embark on a journey to explore the unsettling truth behind these fast food giants. So grab your seat and stay tuned. Burger King and McDonald's, two titans locked in an eternal battle for fast food supremacy. But what if I told you that the battle isn't as black and white as it seems? Though their rivalry is as iconic as their burgers, the truth is far more complex. Over the years, these fast food giants have been embroiled in a relentless tug of war, each brand continuously striving to outdo the other. From the Big Mac to the Whopper, from breakfast menus to drive throughs their competition has always been fierce and cutthroat, a constant game of cat and mouse. Yet, amid this relentless struggle, the landscape of the fast food industry was about to change dramatically. Enter the knight in shining armour, Daniel Schwartz. In 2010, he took the reins of Burger King, a brand struggling to keep pace with its rivals. With his arrival, a new chapter in this fast food saga was about to unfold. In this eternal battle, a knight named Daniel Schwartz emerged from the shadows, ready to shake up the fast food world. In 2010, a young and ambitious Daniel Schwartz took the reins of Burger King, a struggling fast food chain losing its battle against McDonald's. At just 30 years old, Schwartz was a fresh face in the industry, and many questioned whether he had the experience and the grit to steer a sinking ship back into calm waters. Schwartz wasn't your typical executive. He came from a background in finance, not fast food. He was a partner at 3G Capital, an investment firm known for its aggressive, cost-cutting strategies. But fast food, that was a whole new ballgame. He was stepping into the ring with giants, with the fast food industry's heavyweights, and he was doing it with a company that was, by all accounts, on the ropes. His appointment as CEO was met with raised eyebrows, skeptics questioning his credentials, and critics ready to write off Burger King's chances. After all, Schwartz was young, untested in the industry. His rivals had years, even decades, of experience on him. But Schwartz wasn't phased. He saw opportunity where others saw only challenges. He was ready to bring a fresh perspective to an industry that was, in many ways, stuck in its ways. In the face of doubt and uncertainty, Schwartz got to work. He rolled up his sleeves, dove into the details and started to craft a strategy. He wasn't going to let Burger King go down without a fight. He believed in the brand, in the potential it had, and he was ready to do whatever it took to turn things around. His youthfulness, instead of being a disadvantage, became a strength. His fresh eyes saw opportunities that others had overlooked. His energy and drive pushed the company to take bold steps, to innovate, to challenge the status quo. And his determination, his refusal to back down, started to instill a new sense of belief within the company. Little did the world know this young leader was about to turn the tables. But determined to revitalize Burger King, Schwartz implemented strategies that were unheard of in the fast food industry. One of the first things Schwartz did was to streamline operations by introducing cost-cutting measures. He realized that the company's expenditure was far exceeding its income, leading to a problematic financial situation. So he decided to take a step back and evaluate where the company was hemorrhaging money. He made the bold decision to reduce overhead costs by simplifying the restaurant operations and cutting down non-essential expenses. This was a tough call to make, as it meant letting go of some of the comforts and conveniences the company had grown accustomed to. But this was a necessary sacrifice to ensure the survival and growth of Burger King. Schwartz then turned his attention to the most important aspect of any fast food business, the franchises. Instead of focusing on company-owned stores, he decided to grow the business by expanding the number of franchised outlets. This franchise-focused growth strategy was a game-changer. It allowed Burger King to spread its wings far and wide without the burden of managing and maintaining all the outlets itself. This strategic move not only increased the brand's presence, but also brought in a steady stream of revenue. But Schwartz was not done yet. 
He understood that a fast food menu could be a make or break factor for the business, so he decided to simplify the menu. This was a bold move, as it meant stepping away from the usual practice of offering an extensive list of items. Schwartz believed that a focused menu with fewer but tastier and more memorable offerings would enhance customer satisfaction. This decision was a risky one, as it could have alienated customers who were used to a wide variety of choices. But Schwartz banked on the belief that quality trumps quantity, and he was proven right. Lastly, Schwartz took Burger King to uncharted territories with his international expansion strategy. He believed that the key to Burger King's growth lay not just within the United States, but also beyond its borders. So he started aggressively pursuing international markets, especially those where the fast food industry was still in its infancy. This move was a win-win situation. It not only allowed Burger King to tap into new customer bases, but also helped the company diversify its revenue streams. Schwartz's bold moves breathed new life into Burger King, making it a worthy adversary for McDonald's. His strategies were not conventional, but they were effective. They showed that sometimes, to win the game, you have to change the rules, and that's exactly what Schwartz did. He changed the rules of the fast food industry and in doing so, he transformed Burger King from a struggling company into a formidable competitor. Under Schwartz's leadership, Burger King began to regain its lost glory. Schwartz's tenure as CEO saw a seismic shift in the fortunes of the fast food giant. His innovative strategies and bold moves started to yield positive results, breathing new life into the once struggling brand. The changes were palpable and the impact of Schwartz's leadership was felt in every corner of the brand's operations. Schwartz's focus on company-owned stores, profitability and franchisee relationships led to a significant increase in sales. This was a welcome relief for the beleaguered company that had been grappling with dwindling revenues. The spike in sales wasn't a flash in the pan either. It was a testament to the efficacy of Schwartz's strategies which proved to be the shot in the arm that Burger King needed to bounce back. But increased sales were just one part of the story. Schwartz's leadership also brought about a marked improvement in Burger King's brand image. The company, which had been seen as a bit of an also-ran in the fast food industry, began to be perceived as a formidable competitor to the likes of McDonald's. This renewed brand image was a direct consequence of Schwartz's relentless focus on improving product quality and customer service. Schwartz's leadership also spurred global growth for Burger King. Under his guidance, the company expanded its footprint in several key international markets. This global expansion further bolstered Burger King's standing in the fast food industry, making it a true global player. Schwartz's tenure at the helm of Burger King was far from a walk in the park, though. He faced his fair share of skepticism and criticism, but the results spoke for themselves. The company's resurgence under Schwartz's leadership was a testament to his business acumen and innovative thinking. It showed that with the right strategies and a healthy dose of audacity, even the most formidable challenges could be overcome. Schwartz had proven his skeptics wrong, showing that youthful audacity could indeed turn the tide in a business war. Schwartz's story is a testament to the power of innovation and bold leadership, but the burger wars are far from over. As we've seen, the journey of Burger King under Daniel Schwartz's leadership has been a tale of triumph against the odds. It's a story of a company once on the brink of irrelevance, clawing its way back to become a major player in the fast food industry. Schwartz, with his daring strategies and innovative moves, managed to rejuvenate Burger King, breathing new life into the brand and rekindling the age-old rivalry with McDonald's. One of the key strategies that Schwartz applied was the focus on international expansion. By opening new outlets in untapped markets around the globe, Burger King was able to increase its global footprint and reach a wider audience. This move was a direct strike at McDonald's, who had long dominated these international markets. Schwartz also understood the importance of staying on top of the latest trends. He knew that in order to compete with McDonald's, Burger King needed to be more than just a fast food joint. It needed to be a brand that resonated with the younger generation. To that end, Schwartz launched several successful marketing campaigns aimed at millennials, which helped increase the brand's relevance and appeal. All these efforts have had a profound impact on the Burger Wars. The gap between Burger King and McDonald's has narrowed significantly. 
While McDonald's still holds the top spot, Burger King has proven itself to be a formidable challenger, but the battle is far from over. The fast food industry is a rapidly evolving battlefield. New players are entering the fray, technologies are advancing, and consumer tastes are constantly changing. To stay ahead of the game, both Burger King and McDonald's will need to continue innovating and adapting. In the next episode, we'll delve deeper into the strategies that have kept McDonald's on its toes. So stay tuned for more from the front lines of the Burger War.